silver is below $15.25. In my opinion, that is buying time. That's an opportunity as far as I am concerned, but I can't help but wonder, is it going to continue to go down? Are we going to see $14.99 silver again? What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk to you about Silver's recent price drop, but really quick just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also make sure to subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive Silver and prepping content. And if you want to support a small student-owned business, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. We got the t-shirts, we got the hoodies, and we got a bunch of gear that's raising funds for different charities. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. But now let's talk about silver really quick because I don't know about you, but I will be converting some of my dollars into some more silver this weekend. I'm sure many of you know that pretty much the entire month of March silver was around 1550, maybe 1560. I mean, just earlier this week, silver was just below 1575 spot price and I should have filmed this video yesterday because silver dropped all the way down to $15.07 when I was checking the spot price now as I'm filming this video silver has jumped up a little bit to 1523 and I'm actually filming this video present day believe it or not most of my videos for those of you who do not know are filmed the day or the night before I post them. So I'm filming this video just a couple hours before I post it. But as I'm filming the video, silver is below $15.25. In my opinion, that is buying time. That's an opportunity as far as I am concerned, but I can't help but wonder, is it gonna continue to go down? Are we going to see $14.99 silver again? Let me know in the comments what you think. Is silver gonna keep going down? Is it going to drop? Is it going to remain stagnant? Is it going to go back up? Now, obviously, none of us know the answer, but I'd like to know what you think. What do you think is going to happen? I get a lot of comments from people saying that silver is going to be an exact price by an exact time, and I always roll my eyes. I always think it's completely ridiculous and absurd that people make such claims, because none of us know. None of us are financial advisors or precious metal experts, professionals or specialists, nor are we psychics. We do not know what silver is going to do in the next 10 minutes, the next 10 days, or the next 10 years. We do not know, and if anybody tells you that they know, they are lying to you. So please be cautious of that if you are a new stacker, and if you're also new to the channel, please do not take anything I say as financial advice. This is just my opinion, and I'm just stating some facts over here at the same time. Now something that I plan on doing I'm going to wait it out a little bit. I'm going to see what Silver continues to do by later tonight. And I'm going to make a decision. I'm more than likely going to be placing an order, probably via Atmex or JM Bullion. Those are the two sites that I use most frequently. However, I've used other sites as well. I just personally like the selection of Atmex. That's my usual go-to, but I also use JM Bullion a lot as well. What I plan on doing, and I would also like to know what you plan on doing, are you going to be converting any of your dollars into silver this weekend? Are you going to be waiting it out, waiting for your next paycheck, whatever the case may be? And what do you plan on getting? Anything specific you would like to get? Silver rounds, silver bars, silver coins, maybe you're into gold? I stack gold, but right now my eyes are on silver and silver only for the most part. What I plan on doing is getting quite a few American Eagles, as I always do every time I place an order. Every time I convert my dollars into ounces. Every time I convert my paper money into metal money. I always make sure to load up on American Silver Eagles. For reasons I state all the time. It's the coin of my country, which is why it's the foundation of my stack. If I, if I lived in Canada, this would be the foundation of my stack. But when I convert some of my dollars into ounces, I'm probably going to be getting some maple leaves as well. It's my second favorite 
pure silver coin. I got a little stack of them over here. Got some 90% silver dimes, some 90% silver quarters. Obviously, I have more quarters than I have dimes. These two dimes were given to me as a gift, believe it or not. And all of these I got on my own. I have a couple bags of quarters. Every single time I order random 90% junk silver, it always ends up being quarters. I don't know why. I don't know if it's maybe the most popular to have in stock. Whatever the case may be, I would like for companies to start sending me dimes and half dollars just so I can, you know, split it up a little bit. I'm a big believer in diversification, which is one of the main reasons why I'm stacking silver in the first place. Now, junk silver coins, I know they have their pros and their cons. I know a lot of people steer away from them. I personally steered away from them for the first year of stacking for the most part. I started stacking at the very beginning of 2018, and throughout the course of that entire year, I didn't really stack any junk silver. I really wasn't into it. didn't really care much for it. And I'm not going to lie to you. I still don't. Still not the biggest fan. Still not overly interested. Junk silver doesn't excite me all that much. I mean, I only discovered stacking silver a, a year and a couple months ago, and as much as I love silver and as much as silver excites me and gets me pumped up and amped up and motivated, stacking junk silver just makes me feel like I have loose change in my pocket. So I'm not too big into it. However, I do stack it as I said before, for diversification purposes. Junk, silver quarters, dimes, half dollars are the closest thing we are ever going to have to fractional silver coins because they are, after all, government minted. These are, in fact, coins. They may not be pure silver, but they are silver. They are 90% silver. They are far better than fractional rounds and bars. I just like having the higher level of notoriety. I like having government minted coins. I like the fact that they are more recognizable in the eyes of future potential buyers. However, this is not the focal point. I do like them. I do think that they have their uses. I do think they're important. And I do think that they make for fantastic fractional silver coins now let's get away from fractional silver and let's talk about pure silver I will always prefer pure silver over 90% chunk silver I believe in it more I like it more I enjoy the way it looks more and I do plan on picking up quite a few of these handful of American silver eagles Maybe a couple Canadian maple leaves. I try to stack more eagles than maples, even though the eagle is maybe a, a dollar more, give or take, of a premium for whatever reason. And this is three nines fine. This is four nines fine. So this is slightly more pure. I don't know why it's slightly less dollars. It's one dollar less, give or take. I don't know why that is. But this is the coin of my country. So this is what I stack for the most part. So I always try to stack more of these than these. Probably wouldn't be that bad of an idea to keep it close to 50-50, but I try to keep it more to maybe 60-40, give or take. No, I'm not sure. I haven't done the math. All I know is that I stack more eagles than maples. And every single time I convert my dollars into silver, every time I place an order on Atmex or JM Bullion or wherever it is that I'm ordering from, as of 2019, I decided that I'm going to try to pick up at least $1 face value of junk silver, along with the eagles and the maples or whatever other coins that I'm stacking. So I want to know, what do you guys plan on picking up next time you order or convert your dollars into some silver? You picking up any gold? You picking up only coins, maybe only rounds, maybe you want to get a larger denomination silver bar, let me know in the comments. Also, let me know, are we going to see $14.99 silver again? Do you think it's going to happen? Obviously, we don't know, but what do you think? And if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe. 
new videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also, make sure to subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel, which I have for a reason. It's just in case. I post exclusive silver and prepping content over there, so go check it out. And if you want to support a small student-owned business, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. We got the t-shirts, we got the hoodies, and we got a bunch of gear that's raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description. And if you guys would be kind enough to leave a comment on this video, I'd really appreciate that. Comments are my favorite thing. I do my best to read and respond to as many of them as I can. So let me know in the comments. What do you think of the recent drop in spot price? Do you think it's going to continue dropping down? Do you think it's going to stay where it's at? Do you think it's going to increase a little bit? Also, when you place your next order, when you convert your dollars into silver the next time, what do you plan on getting? Let me know in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you just stop smiling. Peace!